Now CBH has a community investment program. So this program is to focus on mental health in the regions, raise awareness and uh, continue support for mental health in the regions. So we've partnered with uh, four great service providers in this area, uh, Youth Focus, Black Dog, uh, Mental Illness Fellowship of WA, MIFA as they like to be called, and Lifeline. The choice of organisations is to uh, cover the areas of prevention, intervention and the ongoing care uh, from mental health issues. The bush statistically has a bad track record in the mental health area and it's really important that we give uh, access to these services to our grain growing regions. So the CBH board approved an uh, increase in the funding of mental health uh, and that will now be $200,000 per annum. Mental health is indiscriminate and we live in isolated areas and uh, our access to these services has been limited in the past. We need to get better outcomes in the bush. We need to lower the statistics of suicides in the bush and we do that through raising awareness primarily uh, and then giving people the tools to deal with uh, mental health issues. Lifeline WA provides all Western Australians who are experiencing a personal crisis or having thoughts of suicide with 24 hour access to crisis intervention and suicide prevention services. Lifeline WA's contribution to this partnership will be to provide tele-counselling and video counselling services to the people of Grain Growing WA. We will also be providing training for our crisis supporters so that they can understand the unique challenges that people living in Wheatbelt WA face. We will also be providing a crisis support pack for the communities that are facing a crisis so that they have the materials that they need to really react and respond and work together as a community. MIFWA provides services to people who have mental illness um, and mental health challenges and work with the community to raise the profile, try and reduce the stigma. So we're really excited about the CBH partnership. It allows us to um, do some of our great work out in the grain growing communities. We will be offering training um, and innovative ways to engage the community and try and build individual resilience about how to support one another and as a community overcome and understand mental health challenges. We expect to reach between 100 and 500 people each year. Um, it could be more. We're going to complement what we do on the ground with some Zoom stuff that people can tap into, short things, and we expect the word to spread. There's a lot of strength and resilience in rural communities. However, it can be really isolating. It can be isolating in the city um, when your family member's diagnosed with mental health challenges. Out in regions, it can be extremely isolating, so it's really important people know they're not alone. So Youth Focus has been in operation about 25 years. Um, most of what we do is one-on-one -on -one counselling for young people aged 12 to 25. Um, we've sort of been expanding in the last two or three years to an outreach team, um, outreach service, which includes regional and remote areas, um, and web-based services as well. So as part of this partnership, um, we're hoping to expand our web-based services into some of the rural and remote areas um, to young people who wouldn't otherwise be able to access those services. In the rural areas, there's a lot more suicides, there's a lot more um, depression and anxiety, um, you know, statistically. Um, there's a lot less services that are uh, able to be present in those communities so it's really important for us to be able to get these web-based services out to those areas. I think a really important thing is that, that it doesn't work that one size fits all. Uh, young people are very different and very diverse and one service that's perfect for one young person won't be for the other. So it's really important for us to be able to work together um, to deliver a, a suite of services um, that, are, that young, all young people can access. Black Dog Institute is the only independent medical institute in Australia investigating mental health research for all the ages. Black Dog Institute's aim is to reduce the severity and incident of mental illness, actively reduce suicide rates, remove the stigma around mental illness, and empower everyone to look after their mental health. We do this through what we call translational research. What this means is we integrate our research studies, education programs, digital tools and apps, and clinical services, and public resources to discover new and innovative mental health solutions. We are really very grateful for CBH's group incredible support of Black Dog Institute's 
mental health education programs for GPs. You may be surprised to know that one in eight visits to the GP are now for mental health. This funding from CBH Group allows Black Dog Institute to run three of our core programs supporting GPs in West Australia's wheat belt. And they are dealing with depression in rural Australia, advanced training in suicide prevention, and ABC of CBT. I'm a girl from Grain Growing WA. I was brought up in Narrambeen and all my schooling was in Narrambeen and Meriden. I know exactly what it's like where there is a lack of services, particularly a lack of mental health services. So I know how valuable the services that Lifeline WA is providing. I know how valuable the services that the other partners are providing. And I know how valuable this partnership will be to the communities in Grain Growing WA.